All right, the president condemning Saturday's chemical attack in Syria that killed at least 40 people, including children. He says he will make a decision on the U.S. response very soon. Watch. We're going to make a decision on all of uh, that. In particular, Syria will be making that decision very quickly, uh, probably by the end of today. But uh, we cannot allow atrocities like that. Probably by the end of today. What is that decision going to be? Joining me right now to discuss is Trump transition team advisor Michael Pillsbury. Good to have you here, Michael. What's he thinking? I think he's going to do something. I think he's inherited a lot of problems from the Obama administration and even earlier. Uh, Syria has been a violator not only of the use of you know human rights but the use of nerve gas, but also they tried to develop their own nuclear weapons capability about 10 years ago. The Israelis took that out. Other countries have now, as of the last 24 hours, been basically calling for action. You've even got a couple of senators, uh, Lindsey Graham and Susan Collins, calling for immediate military action. Senator Graham's idea is to destroy the entire Syrian Air Force. And there's precedent for this and what the Israelis did to the Egyptian Air Force back in 1967. So I expect a fairly strong move. It may not be within the coming 24 hours. The president seems to be quite serious about uh, fixing problems he inherited from President Obama. So how does this play out with the Russians? I mean, given that they have been a backer of Bashar al-Assad. Well, the key problem is not to shoot down Russian aircraft or uh, intentionally inflict death on Russian soldiers in Syria. That's a, uh, I, I am a friend and I admire John Bolton. Uh, he has written in his book about coercive diplomacy and the need to back up your words with military action. But we don't want to accidentally, shall we say, provoke Russian nationalism. So that's one of the challenges. The other is the size of the strike. Uh, how many missiles and, and planes should be sent. But don't you and, run that risk anyway, <clears throat> sir? I mean, if, if you're going after uh, a, a regime that the Russians have backed and the Russians are supporting, the, the pure act of going after Bashar, Bashar al-Assad uh -huh. to begin with it has got to aggravate a few uh, Russians, including Vladimir Putin. I think the key is coordination with the Russians in advance, at a minimum notifying them, this is what we're going to do and this is where it's going to be, and don't alert your friend Animal Assad. But the second part of it is our intentionally uh, not uh, being seen by Putin as attacking his forces. That's a bit of a too much escalation, I would say.